this is the Metz Mecha Blitz M400 Flash, and uh, I got this specifically for use with the Fujifilm X100F. And I like it because it is overall a great, small, reasonably sized, compact flash that, uh, that you know, I have experience with using Metz uh, flashes. They're all made in Germany. And um, while the previous ones that I had, I think it was a 54MZ3 series, I've used with a, very, a variety of cameras because it has an interchangeable hot shoe system, which allows you to uh, convert it for different systems. These you do have to purchase specifically for the system. Um, but it is firmware upgradable. And as you can see from the size, it is actually nice and reasonably uh, sized appropriately for something small like this X100F rangefinder. I can easily see you using this obviously for the X-T1, X-T2, X-T20 systems uh, because uh, the ones from Fuji leave a lot, uh, a lot lacking in terms of uh, build quality and features for what you get for the price. This retails for about $250, and at this point I would like to say that, um, like most of my videos, this is not sponsored or endorsed by any of these companies here. I purchased this with my own money, and you know, I just bought it online, and I've only had a chance to use this for a couple of days, so this is not a comprehensive review. However, um, this has some really great features, okay? So it's got a, a guide number of 40 for ISO 100. It's got a built-in LED flash. The menu system and the buttons are really simple to use. Um, not my favorite, but I can understand why they went with this nice, simple, uh, non-complicated method for adjusting uh, all the settings that you need. It's just it's just a four-way controller with a middle button and plus a, a power button on the top right-hand side it allows you to switch from different settings. So it's got this built-in LED light module, which could be useful. Uh, if you do plan on using videos, uh, obviously the X100F is really not known for its video quality because it, uh, it it's not one of its focus is. But it has auto TTL. It's got auto mode. Uh, it supports 24 to 105 millimeters, so you can go ahead and adjust that appropriately when you use a converter uh, lens. Um, so you could use the WCL or the TCL to get to 50 millimeter or 24 millimeter uh, equivalent and uh, allows you to go ahead and uh, make manual adjustments as well. So I'll prim primarily be using this probably in manual mode, but I'll try the TTL mode just for kicks uh, to see how well that works. Um, it's got high speed sync, not necessary, of course, with the leaf shutter, um, but, uh, but overall, I really like the design. It's made really well, whereas the previous Metz flashes I've used um, in the early 2000s, the 54MZ flagship, which had a guide number 54 to 60, depending on how you measure it, uh, was creaky in the hand, right? It, it didn't pass the creak test. Here, the menu system is really easy to see. It's got an OLED screen, which, um, which is nice and crisp and clear and it's it's really easy to figure out um, how you use it on top of that um, uses the regular double-a batteries and it is uh, it's got a built-in well it, it also has a micro usb port for you to go ahead and update the firmware one thing you should be aware of of course is that because this is not uh, officially um, uh, a fujifilm flash they have to reverse engineer the protocols from fuji so of course, from time to time, you're going to want to update the firmware in case they release a new protocol with a new camera and it doesn't communicate appropriately. You'll want to go ahead and download and use the USB, uh, micro USB and their software, which you can find online on their website and make sure that you update the firmware. So this use, unit uses uh, regular AA batteries. It takes four of them. And, um, you know, th this is... This is going to be a higher performance flash than the other really portable one, which I really like from Fujifilm. I believe it is, um, well, I'll, I'll link it down below. I like it a lot. Uh, I like the controls on the original Fujifilm uh, mini flash better than this. Um, I also like the way the Olympus flashes work better than this as well. Um, but this keeps it nice and simple. Uh, it really keeps it, it just, it's just a four-way controller. And it's got the built-in um, flash diffuser plus a mini bounce card. This is pretty typical of many flashes made today. So it makes it even that much more compact. It includes a flash stand and also a carry case. 
And as you can see, the head rotates all the way around, um, just like any typical flash uh, in, in, uh, in this price range. So whether or not I use it a lot uh, remains to be seen. Um, I do still prefer to keep it as compact as possible, but the very fact that um, this has uh, the capability for me to um, have a more powerful flash system and maybe for group shots or more powerful lighting situations um, I could definitely see myself using one or maybe two of them because this can function as a master to another one of its own METS flash systems. Does not work a Fuji though. Okay, so that's a quick look review at the Mecha Blitz M400 by METS. Uh, I, I mean, it's it's my flash of choice um, that allows me to uh, access these other features. If you want to go cheap, there are third-party options available. Uh, you know, for sixty-dollar range, and you know, you could manually control all those, and that works out fine. But if you want TTL or or um, some other more uh, advanced functions that will communicate with your camera, this is one of the few options, and it's probably the best one right now for the X100F, and that's the reason why I got it. All right, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.